Hi, this is Joanna Cortitas from the Department of Online Learning here at Prairie State College. In this short video, we're going to go over how to access your courses in D2L. Almost all the courses at Prairie State College use D2L in some way, even if they're not online courses. To access D2L, you first need to log into the system. In order to do this, navigate to Prairie State College's website at prairiestate.edu. Then, from the navigational bar, click Pioneer Portal. You'll be prompted to log in. You want to make sure to use your Prairie State login and password you were given from IT. This is the same login and password you use to access your email, to register for classes, and to access all of your billing information. When you log in, be sure to include your username at students.prairiestate.edu, and then click Next, and then type in your password. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once you log in, you'll be able to access all of your information about yourself that we have here at Prairie State College. If you click on the academics icon on the left-hand side, which looks like a graduation cap, it will expand, and one of the options under academics is to go to Desire to Learn, which is D2L, where all of your classes will be located. I'm going to go ahead and access D2L, and then we'll talk a little bit about that navigation. This is the main landing page for D2L. I'm going to point out some of its major features and help you get acquainted with navigation. First, we know that we're in the main landing page for D2L because we have the Prairie State logo at the very top, and beneath it is a picture of campus. On that same line, we have a couple of menu items. The very first one is a waffle icon. This waffle icon, when clicked, will allow you to navigate easily from course to course. You'll be able to select a particular course. The next three icons are notification icons. If you ever see an orange dot next to any of those icons, you'll know that you have been sent a notification and should check it. The very last button on that row is your profile. You'll be able to access that information in order to customize your profile as well as your notification preferences. There are additional tutorials on those processes on our YouTube page. Directly beneath that, you will see a navigational bar that points you to a number of resources on campus. Underneath the Prairie State College campus, you will see my, an area called My Courses. That's where you will be able to access your courses. Please note that you will only be able to access courses that are currently active. You will be able to see your courses that you're enrolled in, but you will not be able to enter the course spaces until the course has started. All the semesters that you have been registered for courses will appear under My Courses. You'll know which semester is selected because it's indicated with a blue underline underneath the name of that semester. You can click select different semesters or navigate term to term. To the right are a number of resources that I would encourage you to familiarize yourself with. The top is a number of resources for students. There's information on tutoring, asking the librarian. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see an area called Work to Do. This will list upcoming assignments for your courses. Be careful not to rely too heavily on this because it does not include information about assignments and readings that do not have specific due dates in D2L. When you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see an announcement section. Those announcements are from online learning to students. And down in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a little chat button. If you click on this chat button, it will expand and you can ask some questions about Prairie State um, by clicking some of the buttons there, or you can ask a question about something that it, you have a concern about inside of D2L, and it will take you to a tutorial space. As I said, all of your classes are listed under the My Courses space, so let's go ahead and look inside a particular course and find out what that's all about. You might hear your instructor call this a shell. That's just another word for the online part of your class. 
When you first log into a class, you're going to land on the announcements page just like you did with Prairie State Home. These announcements are for just this particular course from your instructor, so you want to make sure to read these thoroughly. You'll notice that although the top bar is the same, the navigational bar is different. You'll also note that the name of your course is displayed next to Prairie State College. The first button on the navigational bar is Course Home. You can click this at any time to return to this first page. The second button is Content. When professors talk about modules, this is the section they're talking about. Modules is just a fancy word for a way to group course information. Some professors arrange modules by unit, others by week, and some by chapters. You need to take the time to learn your professor's organizational patterns so you know where they will put important information. We're going to look at the content area in just a moment. Let's first finish up by finishing out this navigational bar. The next three items link to things you will do or turn in. Assignments, discussions, and quizzes. Most professors will put links to these items in the modules or in announcements, but sometimes you have to find them yourself, and this is a quick way to do that. The next tab is important, grades. And this is important not just so you always know where you stand in the class, that is important, but just so you can go over your professor's feedback on quizzes and assignments so you can do better the next time. The next item is class list or email. This tab is helpful if you need to contact someone in the class but do not have their email address. However, D2L does not have email in it. You will not get any messages inside of D2L. This tool just emails on your behalf. All of your emails will be in your Prairie State email, and that's another reason to check that every day. The next item is utilities. This is a quick link to the rest of the spots in D2L. You probably are not going to use this section too often, but you may use it for announcements or video assignment. The tab at the very end is Brightspace Help. This is a great resource if you have trouble with D2L outside of regular hours and cannot reach us in online learning. Okay, so now that we've covered the navigational bar, let's take a closer look at that content area. In the content area, along the left-hand side, you're going to see Table of Contents. This functions just like a table of contents in a book. Each tab is a section or module defined by your teacher. And as I said, every instructor will organize this a little differently, so you want to take time to look around when you first log in. One module that many professors have is the course information module. This is where they'll tell you about the course, put the syllabus, and list any specific information you need to know about software or textbooks. If your professor has this section, make sure you read it well. You can identify the location of the module you are in by locating the shaded area on the table of contents. You notice when I clicked on the course information tab, the table of contents area shifted from being shaded to the course information area shifted to being shaded. The other modules in this example are weekly modules. Modules, remember, are just containers for assignments and content. So let's click on one and find out what is in here. In this week one module, you're going to see that there is a description at the top of the module that tells students how to use the content. And then there's a page of outcomes and assignments. And then the assignment itself is linked. If I click on the Outcomes and Assignments page, I can see that all of my readings and homework are linked here for me. It's important to log into your content area and review the information within the modules, even though you can access most of the information in other places. When you access it through the module, you can make sure that you're going through the content without missing anything and in the order your professor wants you to. That concludes our quick overview on D2L. We have many other tutorials for you to use, so make sure you check out our YouTube channel. If you need any extra help, feel free to reach out to us at onlinelearning at prairiestate.edu or stop by my office, room 3216.